In the heart of the bustling metropolis stood the headquarters of a renowned tech company that provided email services to millions of customers worldwide. Its call center, a sprawling, glass-walled fortress, buzzed with activity day and night, fielding inquiries and troubleshooting issues. Little did anyone know that within this seemingly ordinary building, an extraordinary secret was about to unfold. The sun dipped below the horizon as the city's lights began to sparkle like stars. It was an ordinary evening at the tech company, or so it seemed. But deep in the shadows, in an alley just behind the building, a group of four cats gathered under the cover of darkness. These cats were no ordinary felines, they were the underground feline freedom fighters, a secret society of highly intelligent and tech-savvy cats led by a wily Siamese named Gizmo. Gizmo, with his piercing blue eyes and cunning demeanor, had devised a plan to infiltrate the tech company and bring the company's service to a grinding halt. He believed it was time to teach the humans a lesson about neglecting their feline companions in favor of their tech devices. Gizmo had assembled a team of like-minded cats, each with a unique skill set that would prove invaluable in their mission. First, there was Felix, a tuxedo cat with a knack for scaling walls and sneaking into tight spaces. Next was Tinker, a sleek black cat with a silent grace that made her an expert at moving undetected. Finally, there was Oreo, a fluffy Maine Coon with an uncanny ability to decipher complex technical codes. Together, they were a formidable team. Their mission began with Felix making his way into the building through an open window on the ground floor. With his stealthy movements, he navigated the labyrinthine hallways until he reached the heart of the server room. There, he found a small, unguarded entrance leading to the server's mainframe. Tinker and Oreo waited patiently in the shadows, communicating with Felix through tiny earpiece devices they wore. Felix skillfully opened the entrance, and Tinker and Oreo entered the server room without a sound. It was a vast, dimly lit chamber filled with racks of servers, blinking with countless lights and wires. Oreo got to work, his large paws dancing across the keyboard with surprising dexterity. He quickly deciphered the security protocols and gained access to the company's servers. It was a delicate operation, one that required precision and finesse. As he worked, Tinker kept a vigilant watch, ensuring no human employees approached the room. Meanwhile, Gizmo had made his way to the building's rooftop, overlooking the city. From there, he activated a device that would jam all incoming and outgoing communications. The city's skyline faded into darkness as the city's lights twinkled, but the company's servers blinked ominously, their data streams disrupted. Inside the server room, Oreo executed the final command. A wave of satisfaction washed over him as he initiated the shutdown sequence. The servers whirred and beeped in protest, before falling eerily silent. It was done. Back at the rooftop, Gizmo surveyed his handiwork. The city below was now plunged into chaos. The tech company servers had gone dark, leaving millions of customers unable to send or receive emails. Panic spread like wildfire as businesses, friends, and families were cut off from their digital lifelines. At the call center, chaos reigned supreme. Desperate customers flooded the phone lines, their voices rising in frustration as they encountered a language they could not understand. The cats had replaced the call center's automated voice system with a symphony of meows, purrs, and hisses, leaving callers utterly bewildered. The news of the server shutdown quickly spread through the city, and soon, reporters swarmed outside the call center's headquarters. Inside, the humans were in a state of panic, unable to regain control of their own systems or understand the strange feline language that greeted callers. Days turned into weeks as the city's tech hub struggled to regain its footing. The cats watched from the shadows as the chaos unfolded. Gizmo knew that their message had been received loud and clear. Humans couldn't take their furry companions for granted, and technology should never come at the expense of their bond. But Gizmo also recognized that the time had come to reveal their role in the shutdown. In the dead of night, the cats infiltrated the headquarters once more, this time heading for the CEO's office. 
There, they left a poor printed manifesto that detailed their motives and intentions, respect your feline companions. Technology is a tool, not a replacement. The following morning, the city woke up to the news of the manifesto. It was all over the headlines, and the world was captivated by the audacity of the underground feline freedom fighters. As the cats had hoped, the message sparked a nationwide conversation about the importance of balance between technology and the bonds that mattered most. The tech company, in a bid to make amends, pledged to donate a significant portion of their profits to animal welfare organizations. They also offered their support to create a cat-friendly space within their headquarters, where employees could spend time with their feline companions during breaks. With their mission accomplished, Gizmo and his team retreated into the shadows, content in the knowledge that they had made a difference. The city would never forget the day the cats shut down the servers and spoke up for the feline voice that had long been drowned out by technology. And so, the legend of the underground feline freedom fighters lived on, a reminder to all that even in the digital age, the bonds we share with our furry friends are worth protecting.